That's not Larry Dreams. <laughs>Jay and today I'm here with probably my most exciting book haul to date because I found one of the books that I literally thought I would never find in my entire life at the thrift store and I freaked out a little bit so without further ado let us get started so the first book that I found is the one that I was like I will never ever ever find this in my local thrift store so so I ended up buying a full priced copy of it like three days before I went to the thrift store and then I found it there so I returned the full copy and uh got that refund. It is Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray. I, like I said, did not think I would ever find a book from the Diviner series in the thrift store because everybody loves them so nobody donates them but it was just sitting there on the bottom shelf and I wouldn't have seen it if I hadn't have bent down but your girl bent and snapped and we found it and I literally fell over because I was so excited about it but I was also really pissed off because I was like I literally just bought this full price. And then a guy passing me was like, oh, you do know you can return it up to 30 days after you purchase it. And I was like, thank you, sir. I love you. So that's what I ended up doing. Returned it, got my refund, and now I have the beautiful copy. And I'm so excited about it because this is one of my favorite series of all time. So you know your girl. Definitely gonna be reading this very shortly. And... The fourth book was just announced yesterday. It's coming February 4th, 2020, and I'm so excited. By the time you see this haul video, it's probably already out, but I'm so excited and I'm gonna cry because I just wanna read it right now, but I'm reading so many review copies, so I don't have time. The next book that I have is Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palahniuk. I saw it on Allie from Hardback Hoarders channel, and she said that it was like a really fucked up story, so I am so excited. It basically follows this beauty queen who gets in like a tragic accident and becomes disfigured and everybody pretends she doesn't exist anymore because she's not beautiful. But then a supreme queen named Brandy Alexander enters and she is a one step from becoming a real woman. She ends up teaching the girl that, you know, beauty is from within, yada yada. But I am so here for this because Ali said it was fucked up and I want to see if it actually is fucked up. And also I think the cover is really cool. The next two books are from the same series. I found the third book in the series at the thrift store a very long time ago, but I had no idea that it was a third in the series, so I ended up buying it, and then I was really annoyed because I didn't have the first and second book. I now have the first and second book. It's The Queen of the Tearling and The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. So like I said, I now have the full trilogy, so I'm definitely going to be binging it soon. I'm just really excited that I found it because I had recently been like looking at it on chapters because I was like, I need these books so that I can read the third one that I've had for a million years. Apparently, the thrifting gods were smiling down on me that day because I found so many books that I needed. And then the final book I'm also super excited about because it's been on my radar for a while. I'm a little bit bummed because it has like a crease down the middle, but we'll take the L because now I have it in my hands. It's The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Thurton, and this is like a Groundhog's Day kind of thing. Basically a murder mystery. There's like a party and one of the guests, Evelyn Hardcastle, ends up being shot. And then a boy named Aiden, one of the guests, has to try to solve who murdered Evelyn. And every single day he wakes up in a new body from one of the guests and it's like everybody trying to not let him know who killed Evelyn and it's like like I said a groundhog day kind of thing so I'm really excited when I saw it I just saw Evelyn and I thought it was the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I like freaked out but this is a close second I'm still really excited about it all right guys so that was my little book haul this time around let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in the next video Goodbye.